everybody, this is a doc and I am back with another video. This time I'd like to do a review video on a couple of pieces of equipment that I found just recently and that is the Screw Pop Cigar Cutter. Screw Pop comes from the same folks that made the, the Screw Pop Cigar Punch. You probably remember my review that I did on the Screw Pop. I didn't do a video review, but I did do a review on the website, stogiefresh.info, and you can find that by pressing the link at the bottom of this page. There is a stainless steel one and one that is painted black. They both operate exactly the same and they have two functions. One is cutting a cigar and two is opening a bottle of beer or coke or whatever it happens to be that has a cap on it. Now what I've been doing like I do with pretty much any review is I've been putting these things through their paces and the very first thing that I have done is um, well I've taken each of these cigar cutters and I've simply worked them like this up open close open close I've done that over 300 times on both the stainless and on the black and basically what I want to find out is whether or not these things are going to come apart with extended usage and fortunately thus far they still are holding firm and that's a good sign of course the main thing is to find out whether these things will work very well for cutting a cigar and of course I've done that too and I've not just cut one or two cigars I've cut about 25 cigars using these and believe me when I first started I pulled out some dog rockets because <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to trust these to uh, some of my prize cigars with, with this as with pretty much any other tool you need to get an idea of what it's going to be like by practicing with it because unless you've used one of these before it's going to be a little bit different than some of the cutters that you're used to using. So let me talk about how these things cut and we'll take a few cigars and take a look and chop away at these things. Now one of the nice things you'll notice about the screw pop cutter is that since they open up wide like this they'll cut pretty much any size cigar that you have from 26 ring gauge all the way up to 80 ring gauge so that's a definite plus now what I like to do is I like to open or actually close the cutter to the proper diameter for the cigar that I'm going to cut and so I lay it once I've, I've got that diameter I lay it on top of the cigar just like that so that I don't have to do anything else but close and the only other thing is I push down with the cutter towards the foot of the cigar so that it doesn't slip. So pushing down and simply clipping usually gives a pretty decent cut. Of course pretty much any Perfecto or tapered cigar is going to be easy to cut. Snips it off and then uh, finally this uh, large ring gauge cigar and once again close it to the proper width and cut. If you want to cut off a little bit more, as in this case, I didn't quite get that last part. You can do so fairly easily. In my case, there's a couple of places where I like to put these cutters. One is in my business card holder and you can see that these things are pretty flat and they'll fit in there quite easily and now you've got a nice place to keep a cutter. The other place is uh, in my wallet and I have a wallet that is made by uh, Vandenberg Humidors. Eddie DeJong, you can probably see that logo right there, Vandenberg. Anyway, they have a place in the wallet where you can put credit cards or you can stick in a cutter like this one and it fits just perfectly into the wallet. 
So, the Screw Pop Cigar Cutter is a pretty good deal. It's pretty much like a Swiss Army knife or a P38. It's there when you need it. It's small and it fits into other small places like your wallet or other places where you normally keep things like this. I think these can be a great backup to your regular cutter and they certainly do a good enough job once you've had enough practice. It looks like they'll stand up to continued use and perhaps abuse. They're not the sharpest cutters in the drawer and yet for their purposes out on the golf course or whenever you need them in a pinch they're going to do a good job. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, another review by Doc at Stogie Fresh, and I'll see you next time.